Today I'm going to go over an extremely effective hip stretch and this one is called the pigeon pose. Many of you have heard of it and many of you have probably tried it. It's heavily practiced in yoga and we're going to go over a, a modification to this pose so we can do it effectively yet safely. Because what we see in the clinic is people who have been injured from this pose is that they try to progress a little too quickly, meaning that they're uh, rapidly getting into the pose or instead of developing flexibility in this pose over a long period of time, they're trying to just get deeper and deeper and deeper, which then results into um, compensations and trying to contort their body around the stretch, which then can lead to back injury, hip injury, you name it. So we're gonna go through some pointers here to keep it safe yet effective. So how we're gonna do this modification is you're gonna go on all fours like so and what you're gonna do now is on the side you wanna stretch, you're gonna bring it forward and cross the ankle over in front of the knee. So that's secure there. Knee and the ankle are on the ground, legs flat on the floor. And from here, you're going to work on keeping your back nice and straight, and then you're going to start going backwards into the stretch. So to do that, what you're gonna do is you're going to use your foot to essentially crawl your leg backwards and this will slowly take you into the stretch. Don't move the knee and the ankle as you're going back. So you're just gonna go further and further back. Your back is in a very nice engaged position here. And you're gonna keep going, keep going until you feel that stretch develop. So right here, I feel a very strong stretch. So I'm gonna hold that in a nice position, taking deep breaths while I do so. Now, I started to feel the muscles loosen up just a tad, and so I want to get a little bit more of a stretch. So I'm going to go just a little bit further down, again, using my foot to walk myself backwards. And right here, again, feeling a strong stretch, but my back is in a very safe position. I'm not contorting around the stretch. It's really focused right into the hip. And that's how you want to do it so that then you can be efficient in the stretch, but then also keep the rest of your body safe. And then coming out of the stretch, you're going to do the opposite. So now I'm using my toes to just push and work myself back up into that figure four stance. So when you're doing the stretch, I'm fairly flexible. I can get into that stretch relatively well. So I'll show you on my opposite side now. So starting off, if you start going backwards and you feel a strong stretch there in the hip, stay right there. And that's all you have to do. And then during the stretch, if you feel like you can get a little bit more out of it, then just go a little bit further. And then over time, then you can, as you get more and more comfortable, more and more flexible, then you can start working all the way down until your butt gets down into the stretch. And again, back is in a nice safe position. Okay. So I thought that was an important one to share because like I said, we do see injuries from that pose, um, but working on that stretch will help loosen up those tight and stiff hip muscles. And when you combine that with a good foam rolling or the cross ball routine to loosen up the gluteal muscles, and I'll post a video here so you can watch that one as well, that will really help unlock those stiff and achy hips. So thank you for watching. And if you like our injury prevention tips and our exercises, please hit subscribe, share with friends. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Thank you so much.